Hi there, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and my campaign against plastic within food design continues and today I want to sh share with you nine reasons why we should stop um, single-use plastic. So I want to show you this website called uh, lessplastic.co.uk that gives us nine reasons to refuse single-use plastic. First of all, it's made from fossil fuels reason good enough not to use it. Uh, fossil fuel is running out and maybe we should start continue considering stop using it before we completely uh, run out of it and before we get to the last drop which is probably what's going to happen. Number two, it has a huge carbon footprint because it takes a lot of uh, energy and resources to make plastic and single-use plastic then of course goes into the landfill so the footprint uh, has to do with that also and the impact that it has after it's been used. Number three, it will still be there in hundreds of years. It takes about a hundred years to a plastic bag to decompose in the landfill. It takes 450 years to a plastic bottle to decompose in the landfill. And to other thicker types of plastic, it takes up to a thousand years. So remember this every time you buy a piece of plastic, especially if it is single use, or every time you in include a piece of plastic in your design, because you know that most of it is not recycled. Uh, in fact, number four, only a tiny percentage is recycled. We now know that about 9% of all recyclable plastic is actually recycled. About 12 or 13% is incinerated. So about 80%, the vast majority of plastic goes into the landfill. So remember, every time you buy a piece of plastic or you use a piece of plastic in your design without thinking at what will happen to that plastic after it has been used, that it's going to hang around for about thousands of years. Number five, it leaches toxins into food and drink. It has been proven uh, more and more times that uh, this happens and so we are basically drinking um, plastic every day. Number six, it causes hormone disruptions and cancer. So these toxins that we absorb uh, through uh, food that has been in contact with plastic causes hormone dysfunctions and the cancers and, and, general, and in general a whole bunch of not um, positive health effects. Number seven, it pollutes our oceans. Um, a lot of it goes in the landfill, uh, but you have to think about, we have to think about this planet as something that moves, constantly moves. Water comes down, water washes down uh, into rivers and from the rivers it goes into the sea. There are still a lot of places in the earth, that in the surface of the earth, that you can, that look like they have not been contaminated by our um, waste. But there's not a lot of water in the ocean that, where you won't find some plastic. Um, all this plastic that is floating around in the oceans kills marine animals and birds um, because they eat it thinking that it's food and or because they get trapped into it and so a lot of animals die because of the plastic that we have so mindlessly thrown away. Um, the problem though is that there's not, the problem is both the plastic that is still relatively big, uh, as well as the plastic that is now we call microplastic. So all the, this plastic that is in the ocean with time gets uh, broken down in pieces that are smaller and smaller. Um, these small, smaller pieces that are eaten by an even bigger uh, portion of the animals in the ocean. So because our, our fish eats the plastic, then we eat that fish, it means that ultimately we are eating plastic ourselves. Uh, plastic enters the food chain. Because remember that if 
animals, if our fish is eating plastic, they are eating those toxins. Those toxins get into their blood flow and their muscles and their meat. And so when we eat those contaminated fishes, we are ultimately eating plastic and toxins ourselves. And there are a few words in this article here that I kind of want to share with you. We cannot escape the consequences of throwing away vast quantities of a material that takes hundreds of years to break down. Our planet is not as large as we think it is. We now share it with 7 billion people, the majority of whom are producing plastic waste at an alarming rate. We need to choose more sustainable alternatives to disposable plastic. Um, this is links to what we were think we, what we were talking about before. Ocean microplastic are now outnumber plankton. There is more plas there is more microplastic than plankton in the ocean. So if you think about whales, whales eat plankton, and there's more plastic that is small as small as plankton in the ocean so our whales eat plastic every day and my heart cringes when i think about these things plastic smog may also affect how much oxygen marine plants produce and how much carbon dioxide dioxide they absorb Given that 70% of our oxygen comes from marine plants, this is an extremely serious threat to our survival. We make products that are made of plastic, we don't think about it, we use them and we throw them away. We go into the ocean, they make our plants, our marine plants, unable to produce oxygen, we ultimately die, all of us. How can we not be sensitive to this? How can we not put a stop immediately to what we are doing to this planet? And whatever we are doing to this planet is going to come after us after because we depend on the health of the planet. Uh, this is it for this video. Um, with this series of videos, I, I really want to say two things. Um, you and I um, are both consumers and food designers. Most of us, most of you guys watching these videos have some type of interest in food creativity and food innovation. So we have a responsibility as consumers to stop buying plastic. That's the easiest and quickest thing that we have to do. Stop buying plastic. Stop buying single-use plastic, for sure, yesterday. And if we can't stop by plastic in general, at least we need to make sure that we make a very good use of it and then, and, and that after we have used those, that product, we can find a second life for it or we can recycle it at least. And as for designers, we must stop designing single-use plastic. We must stop designing, for example, eating events that use single-use plastic. And we must, in general, stop designing with plastic. Food packaging designers, food product designers also, have a huge responsibility. Food packaging is the number one single-use plastic, and if you go in any supermarket, half of it is made, half of the packaging is made of plastic. So we need to find quick, quickly, very creative solutions to stop this madness. There are already plenty of zero, um, zero packaging supermarkets, and so we are turning from products to services, which is exactly what we should do to solve this problem. This is one line we should go, uh, we should follow, and uh, we should think creatively about other path, paths that we could follow. Um, I hope this video was useful. I definitely want to make you think about the implication of using plastics. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested in hearing from you and having your opinion and maybe starting a discussion. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I'll see you to the next one. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a lovely day and happy food design.